All right, so this is going to be my pickups video for the month of August. Um, so I took a trip to Seattle recently, and uh, I paid them quite a bit uh, while I was up there. Um, these are games I have in my childhood, um, and these are also um, uh, PC games that my father had for quite some time, and, and I have now inherited them. So I'm going to go ahead and go over the PC games here, which I will not have footage of just because they're old and it's really hard to gather footage for these games until I have something that can capture them properly. Uh, first up, we've got a loose copy of uh, Fights, excuse me, Flight Simulator 2002. We've got a loose copy of Warcraft 2 Tides of Darkness. And we've got the um, front artwork and both discs for Turner Crondor. This is actually a great uh, turn based RPG. Uh, if you guys have a means to, to get this, pick this up, it's definitely worth checking out. I actually uh, gifted uh, a complete and box copy of this to Metal Jesus uh, a couple years ago. Actually, maybe five or six years ago now, something like that. <laughs> but I'm glad to have this in my collection. And uh, can't wait to, to play it. All right, and again, continuing on with the the PC stuff here, uh, we've got Microsoft Flight Simulator '98. That's complete. Both discs. Comes with the game, the World of Flight. Okay, we've got MechWarrior 2, the Titanium Trilogy, which is really cool. So it's got MechWarrior 2, um, MechWarrior 2, uh, what is it, uh, the expansion pack, and that's got uh, MechWarrior 2 Mercenaries. Let me see if I can figure out the name of the... No, it's uh, MechWarrior 2 expansion pack Ghost Bears Legacy is what that is. It's kind of cool to have that. Glad I got that in my collection there. Uh, and then keeping with MechWarrior theme, we've got uh, MechWarrior 3. I love that the discard word. And then we've got Trophy Bass Deluxe. And a Slim Jewel case. And I've got uh, two games I actually bought a yard sale uh, in Vancouver. Back in, I want to say like 2002, 2003, um, I'd have them back in my collection. <laughs> uh, Grand Theft Auto uh, 3 on PC, and uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City on PC. I spent a dollar on each of these, so glad to have those. Okay, and then go continue on with pickups from... Uh, my childhood home. I'll rearrange this, these things here. All right, so we got, um, and these are, I will be showing footage of. Uh, Thunderstrike 2. And these are for the for all its purposes. These are actually games that I that I grew up with back when we had a PS1 back in you know the early 90s or late nineties. Uh, Casper. Interesting game. I, I like this one versus the. Um, I think they had it on Super Nintendo or Genesis. I think it's Super Nintendo. Um, I like this one better. Uh, Real fishing. I 
I love the water effect on the back. A loose copy of Bloody Roar in a Crash Bandicoot case. the case with a blockbuster label. Great fighting game by the way. Okay, and we've got a very beat up copy of Resident Evil Director's Cut. I mean, this is pretty beat up, but uh, this is a legit, I mean, this is the this is the original case it was in. Um, I bought this at Toys R Us. Uh, it, was, it was in a blister pack. It was 20 bucks. Um, <laughs> when it came out. Uh, I'm glad to have this in my collection. Great game. Uh, this copy of Project Overkill, a great third-person shooter. Hard, and this is on uh, PS1. And the last game, last PS1 game, anyway. Um, real glad to have this in my collection, actually. This is a game that I've spent a lot of time with, a game I bought digitally, and I have physically, and that is the original Wild Arms. Coincidentally, for some reason, and I'm not sure why, it has a demo disc for Wild Arms 2. But otherwise, the, the book's there. And then, oh, and got to close without damaging it. And this right there. So, glad to have this. Alrighty, and then the last couple pickups uh, from my, my child at home is a copy of uh, Tetris 2 on Super Nintendo. Great Tetris game, if you haven't played it, definitely it was just checking out. It's a great Tetris game. Okay, and then, believe it or not, <laughs> a lime green Game Boy Color. And I came in with a copy of Pokemon Silver, which I've put a lot of hours in, into recently. <laughs> and uh, I recently got the battery switched out. So actually the save, it's no longer dry. It was dry when I got it. But as you can see, I mean, it powers up, plays, sounds just fine. I'm going to turn that off. <laughs> Copyright. But, uh, but yeah, glad I, glad I have this. Glad I have this, this game. And then my childhood, well, actually, I guess high school copy, really, of uh, Star Wars Episode One Racer. On the Game Boy Color, yeah, it's seen some better days as you can see there. And fortunately, there is a damaged pin, so it will occasionally crash. But it's still a neat, a neat racing game. The batteries in there to to do run, to simulate rumble, which is kind of cool. So glad to have that stuff there. And then these next couple pickups 
um, are from um, a couple of thrift stores. So uh, I'll start off with um, the ones that I got uh, actually for free, believe it or not. So I was at a, was at a thrift shop uh, in Snowmish, Washington. And I was in there and I found a small stack of games. And I found these loose games here. And I'm like, well, how much for these loose games? And like, well, we don't have a way to sell you loose games. So we just have to give them to you. I'm like, oh, cool, awesome. All right, I'll take them. <laughs> so we got uh, NCA 08 March Madness on PS2. Got NCA 06 football oh, football on PS2. Uh, and I was kind of excited to see this uh, UFC 3 on Xbox One. Not really into UFC, but it's an Xbox One game. It was free, so <laughs> why not? <laughs> All right, and then this game I got from uh, Deseret or Deseret Deseret Industries uh, thrift store up in Seattle area. Um, as Battlefield Modern Combat, sorry, Battlefield Two Modern Combat on the 360. So glad to have that. Okay, and then also from Deseret and Desiree Industries, and I was actually really, I almost missed this. I almost missed it because it was tucked away. Wii Sports. Sports. And not only did it come with the game disc, which looks pretty mint, and the, the manual there, but it also came with <laughs> the Netflix instant streaming disc for the Wii. It was just sitting right, right, right there, just like that. So, uh, you know, these are one of the one of the games to, to look out for. It does trade in pretty well. Uh, it is nice to bundle with a Wii um, if you if you're into reselling that kind of thing. Um, for two bucks, I, I I couldn't I could not get it. <laughs> it was two bucks. I mean, come on. So. Glad, glad to have that. Um, and then the last couple of things here uh, is actually a, a loose copy of uh, Civilization Revolution 360 in a blockbuster case. Yeah. 
This is actually um, next to a dumpster. So, I, I'm, hey, why not? <laughs> All right, and the last two uh, pickups here um, are ones I actually have been waiting a couple months for. These are actually supposed to release, I think, last month. Um, and these are Everkey Cartridge number, um, and hang on. There we go. I had to barely picked up the wrong cartridges. But, uh, cartridge number 17, which is the, uh, Indie Heroes Collection 1. And then the cartridge number 18, which is the Worms Collection 1. So glad to have have these. I'm not going to show you gameplay footage of these games here because I will be doing a separate uh, in-depth coverage of these cartridges. But uh, this comes with 14 uh, indie games on this cartridge. Um, actually, let's go over them real quick here. So we've got a uh, uh, Alien Cat 2, uh, uh, Anguna, uh, Chain Break, uh, Datus, Datus, Datus. Uh, Deader, Due to World, Flea, Foxy Land, uh, Kubo or Kubo 3, Ployed, uh, Quest Rest, Super Homebrew War, which is a really neat game, uh, Twin Dragons, and uh, I can't. Uh, uch, uh, uch, uh, uch, uh, uchuzen, I think is how you say it. <laughs> I probably butchered that. But those are the 14 games on this cartridge. Um, really great set of games, honestly. And then this Worms cartridge here has uh, Worms, Worms Armageddon, and Worms Blast. And again, I will go ahead and be doing in-depth coverage of both those cartridges at a later time. Uh, two separate videos, so... Uh, if you want to check those out more in depth, I will have those videos up eventually. So if you haven't considered subscribing, please consider doing so. Got these videos along with uh, you know, many more to come. Um, and uh, yeah, well, thank you for watching. I want to thank you for subscribing. If you haven't done so, consider doing so. <laughs> and uh, until next time, take care and happy gaming.